So I've had media scandals in Hong Kong, in Taiwan, in Vietnam, in South Korea, in Thailand, Nicaragua. Nicaragua is really small, so the pattern is always the same. It's always the same. Small account says something, goes a little viral, then a big account reports on it, and then a bigger account reports on it. The next stage, a small journalist will write a story. A journalist will write a story, and then a big journalist will write a story on the small journalist, and that's when it goes to the actual media. Once it hits the media, the real journalists who have a career incentive to like discover the truth and like have a microphone in your face, that's when they're gonna start knocking on doors, making phone calls, and trying to like really get the truth about the story. We're at the early stages of this, and based on the momentum and the patterns and the comments, the speed at which this is happening, if, un if nothing changes, then I give it maybe 48 hours, maybe 72 hours, maybe four days max before we're on TV de cobaias para um treinamento de conquista amorosa. E David Bond. Veja na reportagem da Laura Cassano e do Carlos Henrique Dias. Os milionários, um esquema que What's up guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to David Bond, que okay, uncovering the real truth about why he deleted his YouTube content and his Instagram content recently. He said he's going on some philosophical journey to detach himself from the image he's created online and blah, 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 blah. But I had some friends do some digging and it looks like he is under investigation by the FBI. So we're gonna look at some of these comments he makes and I'll be reacting as we go along. And you're gonna wanna check out my video on the end screen. We'll put two different videos actually showing that David Bond has no game and how he was exposed for paying girls Bitcoin cash in poor third world countries. And we'll put my other David Bond video. This guy's a huge piece of shit scumbag. Okay, he's wanted by lots of authorities in different countries. Lots of people want him dead. And he's just a general big fucking poser loser that sucks at game and tries to run around acting like Mr. Cool all the time. So let's jump right in here. So like for me, I, I recently made the news in Brazil. He's like so proud of himself too, getting kicked out of all these companies, out of all these countries. He was in Brazil for like a brief period of time and he got fucking chased out by the authorities. Let's hear what happened. In Brazil, they're like, they're looking at our stuff and they're like, okay, how can we make people mad? Mm. Racism, perfect. Racism, sex trafficking, foreigners coming to Brazil and they just put, put it all together and then they, Boom. And he acts like such a victim too. Like, oh, foreigners came to Brazil, so the media has to target him. Uh, I've been here almost four years. Okay, there's been zero media articles about me. I've had zero problems. There's been no issues with authorities or anything. So I'm not being a fucking retard. He was inviting underage girls to parties and like having girls come to parties under false pretenses to try to sleep with his students in this social circle nonsense. And, and he got fucking chased out. And racism is actually a crime in Brazil. It's a criminal offense. I don't know what he was being racist about, but let's let's listen a little bit more here. Let's say, for example, one of the articles about me is on coconuts, coconuts, Indonesia, and it's titled David Bond accused of sexually exploiting women in Indonesia. OK, that's the title. He talks like modern life dating now since they've been working together. David Bond exploiting people. OK, really interesting. <laughs> this is like a case study. By the way, this fucking dumbass's original name Okay, real name, was David Campbell. He tried to make himself cool like James Bond by calling himself David Bond. And then when all these different authorities wanted to put him in jail, okay, and he was worried about going to jail and- In media, because the the content is harmless, but the, the language in, in, inflames the mob. So did you Indonesian find Indonesian officials on lookout for David Bond, quote, pickup artist, accused of sexually exploiting women throughout Asia. And keep in mind, like, I've traveled the world. I've had zero problems in any country. Yeah, I have lots of friends that have traveled the world. Zero problems in any country. He's had problems in like eight countries. Okay, He notoriously has governments after him, authorities after him, people wanting to put him in jail, people wanting him killed, etc. And he acts like, oh yeah, I'm just a victim here. No, he's a fucking retard. Okay, he's a dumb retard that sucks at game, that tries to be cool on the internet and pay girls Bitcoin cash in the poorest, easiest countries, and then they go and cheat on him. Okay, this is what I heard recently is that his girls went and cheated on him. It's like, you can't get to be any bigger of a loser than that, All right? He takes the cake on that one. Before we go through with the rest of this reaction, if you want to plug into all my texting scripts, my Tinder messaging scripts, have a full blueprint for doing all your cold approaches, running your dates, closing your dates, et cetera, get on a free 30 minute call. We'll have the info card above. 
and the link in the description and pinned comment. And someone from my team will go over exactly where you're struggling in the game and provide solutions to all the problems that you have and to how to hit all the goals that you have in the game. Scroll down to the video they, they list. I made a vlog of me walking around Indonesia and I go to a monument area and I take selfies with locals. And I'm like, oh my God, these people are so nice. And they're like taking selfies with me. Okay. Okay. In the video, <laughs> we're talking about- Keep in mind, Bradicus, okay, who's a, a multi hundred lay count, legit guy in the game. He lived with David Bond in the past and said that David Bond's, his honest assessment of David Bond's game is it's like a two out of 10. He said David is shy and awkward and he's a super weirdo too. Okay, he worships Jeffrey Epstein and, and wants to use similar grooming tactics. He talks about that frequently. He's just a general fucking creep. And he only takes payments and like Bitcoin so he can evade taxes. And he's just like a huge fucking shady loser. How we notice there's music that plays every five hours. And we're like, yo, man, is that music keeping you up? He's like, yeah, what is that? It's like, oh, it's Islamic prayers. So it's two guys who just got to Indonesia. They're talking about how there's Islamic prayers on the on the speakers. And then they go to some place and they take selfies with people. That's the actual video. What this article does is it says, okay, David is accused of blasphemy because he mocked Islamic prayer. The truth was, I said, did you hear the music? It sounds like, oh, okay. Okay. Penalty for <laughs> blasphemy, several years. So someone like asked the police, is blasphemy illegal? Yes. Did you hear about David Bond? They're like, we'll look into it. Okay. This kid's so fucking annoying to watch. He looks like a little fucking queer. Oh, so we'll look into it. Okay. Okay. So next part of my little tale here. He is going to end up in jail or fucking beaten up hardcore. Okay. Because there's people after him for both things. And he can remove his content and all this stuff. He's on like the special interest list of the FBI. Okay, we're going to get to that part shortly. Indonesians are on the lookout. Indonesian official. He acts all confused. This happens to him everywhere. Doesn't happen to me anywhere. This happens to him everywhere. And he acts like, oh, how, how could this be happening? Everyone's against me. No, he's going around being an ass clown and facing repercussions for being an ass clown. The end. Was on the lookout for David. But like, basically, the truth is I made an innocent vlog of me walking around Indonesia, making some jokes and then taking selfies. But they they can extrapolate that I'm on the lookout, that police are on the lookout because the guy who wrote the article called the police and said, have you guys seen this video of this guy mocking Islamic prayers? And police are like, okay, you want us to watch it? Like if you call the police right now, the police are not gonna say, no thanks, hang up. They're gonna, obviously they'll say, yeah, we'll look into it. You know what I mean? You could say, hey, there's a, there's a, there's a lady slapping a chicken outside and they'll say, okay, uh, what street is it? Okay, well, yeah, we'll look into it for you. Like, Great example. Yeah, go find the lady slapping a chicken. Like The police will always say that. But this guy makes it sound like they're on the lookout for me. Obviously, I'm not look. I've been to Indonesia like five times after that article. But the point is, the narrative is white man goes to Islamic country and does bad thing and it's exploitation. And yeah, it's just all a big conspiracy. It's just the fucking matrix. Again, me and my friends have traveled in a lot of countries. We have problems nowhere. There's no issues anywhere. Okay? He has problems everywhere. Huge difference. He's tapping into all these narratives that will get an Indonesian guy who's just trying to work in the in the rice field or something pissed off enough to share it. Yeah, that's not fucking stereotypical. An Indonesian guy trying to work in the rice field. So this guy's stacking narratives. Yeah, like uh, like I would really encourage because this article is great because it, it is like almost the perfect example of what I'm talking about because the video at hand is truly innocent. If you watch the video, you would be shocked that there was even controversy here. You would be shocked that he's been chased out by legal authorities in countless countries. I don't know how that could be happening over and over and over. It must be a giant misunderstanding over and over and over each time because clearly he's not doing anything wrong. That's why every country chases him out very quickly with legal authorities and trying to put him in jail. It's just all a lot of misunderstandings everywhere. Because it's two guys walking around <laughs> Indonesia and then we start taking selfies with locals. And of course we are with some girls. We are with some girls and we're talking to girls about how we think American girls are slutty. God, here we go with this crap. Hey, I'm a passport bro and I think American girls are slutty. And I... <laughs> so he goes to fucking Philippines and builds a rotation of bottom of the barrel trash and they go and cheat on him. Okay, let's get a round of applause for that. So you, you avoided those slutty girls and you fucking, you know, now you're just lording in life. Okay, you, you fucking won. <laughs> 
<laughs> when you're laying in bed next to a three, okay, and her fucking vagina's full of some other dudes come, David Bond has won in life. He's a passport bro. The video is full of sexism. You almost, you almost have to watch it, dude. Look how queer he acts. The video is full of sexism, okay? Oh yeah, listen, listen, listen. Keep in mind, this dude was like a computer hardware specialist. Okay, just like Walter Weeks, tech support at Wix.com. David Bond was a little fucking computer repair nerd. <laughs> and then he thought, hey, I can pretend to be cool online. Why don't I do that? <laughs> that right there. <laughs> the big speaker. That right there. See how he says, he's like, you don't hear the Muslim purse? Ah. Mm -hmm. And then we go, we know what I, you know what you don't like about women? In the video, we say, we don't like American girls because they dress like sluts, like Miley Cyrus, if they're 12. All American girls dress like sluts. That's why we're passport bros. And then he's like, <laughs> do you hear those Muslim pairs? Ah. But now read the article. What a fucking queer. Ah. Video full of racism, Islamophobia. David is on a- Keep in mind, like, if this happened one time in one country, maybe you could believe his argument that it was a misunderstanding. But it happens every time in every country. And he has his own little explanations for each time how the how the media got it wrong. <laughs> He's the fucking common link. His dumb, retarded antics running around pretending to be cool okay, are going to land him in jail. And I hope it happens soon. He's committing blasphemy. He doesn't even know how to say the word right. Blasphemy. <laughs> It's PH. There's no PHT. Blasphemy. What a fucking retard. Exploiting women. Indonesian officials, police are investigating the blasphemy case. He keeps saying blasphemy over and over. That's how dumb he is. Like, yeah. read it. And the, uh, Indonesian authorities have also made, <laughs> have been made aware of Campbell with the Jakarta Metro Police saying. Campbell, that's his fucking <laughs> original name. Like the fucking soup container. He's like the furthest thing from James Bond <laughs> that anyone could ever be. That's why the internet's so funny. I'm gonna be David Bond. I'm gonna be the cool guy now. And all these countries are like, put this guy in jail. He's out of control. He's just casually breaking laws all over the place. He could potentially be investigated. <laughs> See, language, potentially. It's always the same. Some people say potentially could face up to so the police were made aware dude i could call the police right now and be like there's a dude in black shorts in my hotel room asking me crazy questions i just made the police aware of you police in bangkok made aware of a journalist with the camera aggressively asking uncomfortable questions yeah all police are a conspiracy and every fucking article about you is unjust Right? It's just a big coincidence that everywhere you go, all fucking countries want you out because you're a fucking weirdo. It's all a big misunderstanding, don't you guys know? Working without a permit, unregistered journalists interrogates. I can make this interview sound like you're a fucking wanted fugitive. Wow, so cool, Bond. Now, you, you just watched that, right? Yeah. Where's the bad part? I mean, nothing. nothing. It's literally like, maybe like an it, like some like some sort of like. But because my American, friend said, but... "Do you hear the prayers?" Ah, that's mocking Islamic prayers. Because we're comparing American women the way they dress, that's sexism. And because this journalist called the cops, the police have been made aware. So the article now he can say Indonesian officials on the lookout for sexual exploitation and blasphemy law violation could face up to five years. And it says, and the immigration office saying an intel team would- He's like, hey, this is his fucking dream come true. Watching everyone give him attention as he narrowly evades being thrown in jail by every country he goes to. <laughs> his luck will run out soon enough. Honor him and his friend while they're here. Yeah. Is that the most amazing thing? Now, 99.9% .9 of the people who share that article didn't read any of it. They just saw the title. Yep, 99.9% .9 didn't read the article. Now that's a good statistic for you guys. This guy is such a fucking dork. Before we continue with this fucking dumb story, I wanna to get to the part with the FBI. My friend sent me these timestamps. And I think that part's coming up soon where he admits to, to being wanted by the FBI. But get on one of those free 30 minute calls. We'll diagnose exactly where you're at in the game and where you're struggling and give you a customized game plan for exactly how to fix every single issue. They're like, ah, 
White man is back again doing the bad thing. Share Facebook. Blah, blah, blah. Again, I'm a fucking white man in all these different countries. Zero issues. Zero. Zero misunderstandings. Hey, I'm not being a fucking retard. I'm not doing retarded shit. He is every time. So then this article haunts me to this day. People, dude, there's girls in, uh, in Cebu. Watch this. In the Philippines. Just a few days ago, a girl said, hey. And this one was not intentional. So some no, that was just a, that was just an accidental thing. So look at this. This was yesterday. She goes, someone sent me this message about you. Hey, you don't know me. I want to warn you against this guy. And what does she quote? The article. Wow. But every other country has an article too that you've been to. So they could quote any of those as well because you're a fucking creep weirdo. Yesterday, a random Filipina, they're trying to scare her by saying that I'm bad and their evidence is that article. So do you see like the layers? Yeah. Like it's just like incredible. This is like a giant dork basically trying to blame the matrix just like Andrew Tate, but in a more roundabout way. Oh, it's just cause I'm white and it's always a misunderstanding and they all have it out to get me and blah, blah. Again, I can't stress enough. I've had zero problems in, in the massive amounts of countries I went to. My advanced friends, zero problems in the tons of different countries. Him, this isn't some one-off one misunderstanding. It's every fucking time. He runs from the country with his tail between his legs like a huge pussy with these authorities wanting to put him in jail. Look at the fucking title of this. The YouTuber that fooled the FBI. David Bond. It's like, no, this is a dork that's going to land in jail and let's all laugh at him together. So now if you see before all of this stuff was happening and then after <laughs> like the stuff that you did with the media, when you see news. Well, now, oh, yeah. Now, when, now when you read articles, you, you, you have a little bit of a, an eyebrow raise. You know what I mean? Especially if it's really inflammatory. You know what I mean? You know that you're like, OK, I wonder what the truth is, because you got to understand, like journalists are paid to make articles that people like. There is a business here. You know, if a journalist was like, oh my God, diet and exercise is how you lose weight, no one's gonna click it, right? But if a journalist is like, man takes fat burning pill and loses arm or whatever, like anything that just makes people go, huh? Interesting, click. Because the news site- There's little dorky mannerisms. Okay. Uh, uh, on ads, <laughs> and the ads pay based on a- t The flamboyance factor is off the charts here with this little queer. <laughs> if you're an advertiser, you're like, okay, well, how many hits a month do you get? How many shares? Like, that's the analytics. So anything that can re increase like attention is good. So the financial incentive for all parties involved is not truth. Truth is not interesting. What's interesting is anything that can get the, the masses emotional because you, you share stuff when you get emotional, you know, like maybe there's some something Trump said and everyone's like, oh my God, share. More little dork mannerisms. He's trying to explain away the fact that all these different countries, well, tons, want him in jail. A whole bunch of them. And he's trying to say it's all just some big fucking conspiracy to, to get him in trouble. And he's done nothing wrong anywhere, anytime. But like if Trump <laughs> says America is a beautiful country, it doesn't make an article. The examples are so retarded too. The Pope wakes up and says, Jesus is really great. It's not news, right? Great example. That doesn't get anyone emotional. Oh my God, doctor reveals the way you get healthy is diet and exercise. No one's clicking that. You see what I'm saying there, bro? My fellow passport, bro. In reality, it's not interesting. He tries to act like he's like some scholar here. Let's not fucking kid ourselves. Let's take a step back from this tomfoolery for a moment and look at a little dork trying to be cool and trying to rationalize and explain away why tons, tons of countries want him in jail and why lots of people want him dead. It's not all a big misunderstanding. It's because he's a fucking loser ass clown running around doing criminal shit. That's why. And he's going to end up in jail. Just give it some time. Have to add narratives to get people mad or happy or something. You have to have an emotion. Like when you're on when you're on Twitter and you click reshare. Look, I've been in Brazil almost four years. Zero problems ever. Okay, he came for like one or two months and had all these different charges. <laughs> <laughs> being levied at him and like governments looking for him and authorities looking for him. He had to run away. Oh, look, it happened again for the 10th time. <laughs> He's like, they're just after white foreigners to paint a bad narrative. No, no, erroneous. You're being an ass clown. You're going to get in trouble for being an ass clown at the end. Whatever your 
resharing it made you feel something. You know, if you're scrolling, you don't see like someone took a picture of their 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 muffin and you're like, holy fuck, reshare. You know what I mean? It has to provoke you in some way. You know what I mean? They're not going to get upset about a muffin. You know what I mean? Okay. So, yeah, I mean, look, once you see the matrix a little bit for what it is. <laughs> yes. I hadn't seen this yet, but now he's saying it explicitly. Now it's all the matrix's fault. Okay, he can enter the fucking loser category even further. He was like the biggest loser on the internet before. Okay, it doesn't, like like I said, and this isn't hating. You can't move to the easiest country in the world for girls. Pay them Bitcoin cash and settle down with the, like the ugliest ones that are like below a four. And then they go and cheat on you because your game blows and you're a huge loser. And then governments want you in jail. <laughs> so you can go online and say, look, the matrix is after me. But I'm fooling the FBI because I'm David Bond and I'm one step ahead. <laughs> They're just like, okay, like, man, how many weird things that I get all caught up into? A lot of the things that people talk about are just attention <laughs> things. All the COVID articles and all the, like, conspiracy theories, like, it's all just a game of, like... Yep, it's just the Matrix after David Bond, just like conspiracy theories. People are like, oh, look, everyone's talking about Andrew Tate now. He's generating attention, so... Everyone's talking about them. So it's like... Yeah, you're talking about how things are trending. What's the fucking dumb point now? Some guy goes viral once, and then now all the sh talk shows and all the articles want to be about this guy until he stops getting people's attention, and then they just don't care. He tries to copy R.C. Tyler, too. It's like... Okay. <laughs> A lot of these guys think R.C. Tyler... R.C. <laughs> Tyler, a.k.a. Owen Cook, is a super cool guy. And they try to emulate his mannerisms, <laughs> which is even more hilarious. Don't wake up and go, what will make the world a better place? What is true? They don't think that way. They go, man, what can I talk about? Fuck. What's, what, what's, what's a good... No, the guy's fucking doing illegal shit. Like, we don't need Sherlock Holmes here. Okay, I made multiple videos showing how he's evading taxes, how he's doing all kinds of shady stuff. And these governments aren't like, hey, let's uh, choose some random charges today. No, they were like inviting underage girls to parties in, in a way that mimicked sex trafficking. More fucking deflection. Go be an ass clown in every country. Get chased out with your fucking tail between your legs running. And then be like, the Matrix, the Matrix, the Matrix, the Matrix, the Matrix. It's like, no, you're a fucking retard. Okay, and it's going to catch up with you and they're going to put you in jail and I'm going to laugh and make more videos and laugh a lot more. Okay, and you'll be in jail being like, the Matrix. Or even what's, the yeah, what's the trend? What's the trend? Oh, my God. Um, oh, my God. Um, oh, my God. Barbie <laughs> has controversial narratives and this guy. Look at this guy. He's trying to be eloquent, right? Barbie has controversial narratives. And I can't describe how big of a loser this guy is in words. Yeah, but I, hopefully it's becoming apparent to you. Okay? Like literally probably the biggest loser on the internet. <laughs> Man throws banana out window. <laughs> Indonesian officials looking out. Uh, blasphemy. Yep, that's all it is. It's just a fucking giant matrix attack. Being women, speculate. Some people say, some people say. That's the best thing. Some people say, source. Many speculate David Bond puts a carrot in children's buttholes. Speculated could face up to 20 years it's like you know it's like not truth it's just what can get dummies to click and share yep nothing he's ever done is based in truth it's all matrix conspiracy and it's all just them harassing an innocent man who's not doing any kind of tomfoolery or nonsense ever so <laughs> the journalists that can get the click it's just a big coincidence that every country has a problem with this guy <laughs> <laughs> even me, even me, like I'm encouraged all the time to do all like a lot of my business partners, they're like, oh, this is trendy. Let's talk about it. I'm like, I don't want to. Why not? Be like, well, I don't. It's not interesting. Like, why do I care if it's trendy? Like, am I talking about things based on a trend? Well, yeah, because people will go viral. <laughs> More retard mannerisms. Let's get to the fucking FBI part. Hopefully that comes up soon here. But it makes sense. If you're a robot trying to get money and you're just like, you know, wherever the attention is, you just got to go. Either you play the game or or not. Okay, I'm looking at the timestamp now. He's going to fucking talk about the FBI thing here in a second. Okay. And you can play the game in reverse too. So like... My friend left a fucking timestamp on this video. I can see that this is the game they play, so I can like fake them out and to get him to talk about me. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So there was... You talked about, you know, kind of like the trickery when you were hacking in the computer labs and then when you first... Um, and then kind of like how you got into the media stuff but there was also a story 
or experience that you had where the FBI was looking for you and couldn't find you. Yeah, this is a story I never really told. The FBI was looking for him. Joint Terrorism Task Force of the FBI looked for me for like four months. Joint Terrorism Task Force. This was over something small. Basically, I flew a drone and it crashed over a beef ranch. The beef ranch took this really seriously because they thought I could be like an eco-terrorist. Like there's a lot of vegan terrorists out there like uh, animal rights people who threaten to blow up meat facilities. And they take it seriously because they're doing millions of dollars. And they're like, look, if we got a drone, like why is this guy flying a drone over our meat factory? So they turned in the, uh, the drone to the FBI and the FBI analyzed the footage and they were able to puzzle together something. They trailed it back to a friend of mine who was like the previous owner of the drone or something like that. And they're like, who is this guy? And he, and all my friends know, like, you don't tell my, you know, they, he go, they go, look, I can't tell you who he is. His name is David Campbell of California, Bakersfield, California. That's who that is. That's who that dumb fuck is that's going to jail. He's my friend though. They're like, we need to know who he is. My friend is hung up on him. He's like, yo, like, I don't, I don't need to talk to you, dude. Fifth Amendment. Fifth Amendment, bro. That's my passport, bro, bro. Look, his name is David Bond on YouTube. <laughs> so then they're like, all right, perfect. Let's look him up. For months, they tried to figure out my identity based on research. Because I have so much fake news about me, one of the things I did during all these fake news articles is I would lie about my real name. I would claim it was a name that it was not. Yeah, that was already uncovered too. And so the FBI was like, they didn't know the real name. One of the names they had on the list was my, my actual legal name. But when they went to my mom's house, because they were going through all the addresses of this name, the way it works is public records. You can look up someone, you can see all their addresses, former addresses, everything. One of the addresses that they went to was my mom's house. And the FBI went to my mom's house and says, do you know this person? And my mom said, nope, nope, I don't know him. So now he's admitting that his mom is lying to the FBI, okay, which I'm sure is a crime. How could that not be a crime? You're lying to fucking government officials who are investigating oh i don't know my son uh he's always changing his name and, and running away from his running away from his problems in various countries and claiming it's the matrix uh yeah he's probably on a covert secret mission he's his name's bond by the way <laughs> my mom's like who are you they're like we're the fbi we're looking for this person you don't know who he is i go he's admitting on camera that his mom lied to the fbi's face that's great just shut the door and she called me she's like david the fbi just came over i'm like did you tell him what'd you tell him She's like, I told him I didn't know who you were because I told my mom, I go, anytime anyone comes looking for me and you don't know them, you don't know me. Yeah, not shady at all. David can authorities and women and people wanting him dead even. Okay, then he's going to, on top of it, tell his mom to lie to the FBI. Let's get a round of applause for that. Nice job. And then he's going to go admit it on camera, right? And then he probably thinks he's really smart, just like Andrew Tate. <laughs> More self-snitching. My mom's such a gangster. She's like, she did it. Wow. Now he's bragging that his mom's such a gangster that she can lie to the FBI. Great. Because my mom said no, they discounted the name because the FBI, when I finally talked to them, they said, usually the best way to find out stuff about people is just their relatives because they just tell you everything. They want to cooperate. They're like, oh, what's happening? Oh, yeah, he was a good son. He went to BHS. He went to this school. And here's his name. Here's his address. Everything, right? Here's his phone number. They'll tell. It's so unusual for a mother to just deny... It's so unusual for a mother to not cooperate. Now he's bragging about his mom lying to the FBI. That they discounted <laughs> the real name and they started chasing these fake names. And for four months, they couldn't get anything. And according to the agents I talked to, they said that my case got escalated twice. So the way that the FBI works is you have like the grunts. Most of the time they go, okay. Well, now he's going to explain the FBI. He does these little like explainer things. Okay, so the way the media works is like they basically come up with fake stories and every single country I go to, there's this big coincidence. He's like, okay, now the way the FBI works. <laughs> After he has his mom <laughs> formally instructed to lie to them. Hey, what's his address? Look him up. Bink, go to the house. And when they can't find you, it, it escalates to like a private investigator type of guy. And then it escalated again. The thing is, I was out of the country. I'm, I'm like not even in the country and they don't know where I'm at. And the thing is I delay my videos and I region block and I do all this obfuscation, like identity obfuscations. More shady stuff. 
they truly just, they're like, we don't know where, to, like, no one cooperates with us. Every address we go, no one knows who this guy is. All his friends won't talk. Wow, this is so cool. What a cool guy. Like, no one's giving us information, and we don't know what to look for. What even threw him off is that I've had several legal name changes over the years. <laughs> That's his current name. I have, like, I've purchased, like, assault rifles and sold them in one name and then the other name. And it's all a big mess. I don't own a car. There's no... What is he talking about? He's purchased assault rifles in one name and sold them in another name. We're going to stop there. This guy is fucking off the charts, crazy, retarded, and fucking stupid. Thank you guys so much for accompanying me on this journey here with this fucking dumbass. Watch my videos in the end screen that reveal more details about what a fucktard this guy is. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on a video soon. Take care. And let's get a fucking one more round of applause that this dummy's YouTube and Instagram content is gone. That's terrific. Okay, guys, thank you so much. And take care. And Jay don't stand in line. I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game. I ain't never had to fake. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models. And you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor. I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.